hour drive, we've just arrived at our next destination, which is Crystal River. I had been a little bit worried about how the car journey was gonna go, but luckily everyone fell asleep quite quickly, so that was good. The only problem is it's now nearly eight o'clock and they've slept pretty much for two and a half hours. So we're a little bit worried about how bedtime's gonna go. But we are at our hotel, we haven't checked in yet, we're just about to walk in. It's called the Plantation Hotel, and it actually looks really lovely. Crystal River was sort of like a kind of stopover on route to our next like area that we're going to however we decided to do two nights because we are doing something really exciting tomorrow that we wanted to come to Crystal River for because Crystal River is the manatee capital of the world I think it is and so that was one of the reasons why we decided to like stop over here but it actually just looks so nice so we're really excited to sort of get in and check in and sort of see what it's all about because we haven't really like researched that much about it because we weren't really like it was just meant to sort of be a bit of a like sort of stop over but we're very excited to check in because it looks lovely so we're gonna go and check in now we haven't even got our suitcases out yet we're just gonna go and uh, head in John's surrounded by two ladies I've got frosties for my breakfast because I am an actual child, whereas normal people have got fruit. We're putting our wetsuits on. We're How do they feel? There we go. You've become me and I've become you. In this you practicing? Now it is cold. Snorkel. She's all ready to go, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> It takes a little bit of time, doesn't it, to get used to the snorkel? Are you having fun? Yes. <laughs> She's drinking some hot chocolate after all her diving. So we've just finished swimming with manatees. Hands down. The best thing in the whole entire world. Oh, it's been absolutely amazing. Yeah, the girls were so brave. We got some really, hopefully, some really cool footage of them. And it was just... Amazing, wasn't it? Yeah. Like one of those like things that you'll do and you will talk about. It's actually making me get a bit emotional. I'm such a weirdo. But like one of those things that you will do and you will remember for the rest of your life and you will talk about for the rest of your life. Right? Yeah. Like a once in a lifetime thing. And it was really nice. The guy was called Ed, the captain, and Steve. And we've got some cuddly manatees. Steve, Steve the captain. Steve the captain and Ed was the one that was doing all the. And it was just, oh, it was just brilliant. Absolutely incredible. It's thirsty work swimming with manatees, so we're having a smoothie, aren't we? You're a bit of a manatee lover, aren't you, little up? <laughs> hey, Remy! Go, go, Jen! Nearly! just come out onto this lawn bit of our hotel just to take some pictures we took some really nice ones I think and we're gonna go for some dinner in a minute but how beautiful is this and the girls are just taking some pictures with their iPad Aww. 
behind the scenes. Behind the scenes! <laughs> Yeah, that one's beautiful, Matt. Wow. Aww. So they've just brought this to our table. This is a speciality cornbread. And we had some last night. It's sweet and then it comes with like buttercream. Well then, top, top. It's delicious. It's really, really yummy, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. It's like it is like a cake, but for a starter. <laughs> we're having dinner. <laughs> we're having dinner. We're sat outside, it's really lovely, and there's a wedding going on just over here. Yeah, it's because it was 30 degrees here today, no wonder it's still warm. But there's a wedding going on, and we're people watching, which is my favourite thing to do. We haven't spotted the bride, we don't know where she is. I think I think the marriage is set to have like a weekend wedding, maybe. They're all in jeans. Yeah, it might just be like the night before, but we did see them like down at a gazebo earlier. Yeah, to... Unless it was actually, that might have been the wedding rehearsal earlier. Maybe. Because they are very cash. Also, if you get married in the next 30 degrees, then you don't want to be wearing suit here. Good boy. Rennie likes to help with the suitcases. Go on then, Rennie, good boy. James and collecting all our stuff together. Well done, Rennie. We're having one last game of throw the bean bag before we check out. I'm not sure what the official name is. It has got a tick, it must be good. Let's go. <laughs> Why are you going in for the long haul? I just did a basket. A basket? Because <laughs> we need long snacks. God, look, honey, they got honey buns. And pony bones. And <laughs> devil dogs. <laughs> and ring dings. Good morning, everybody, and hello properly from Crystal River. We've just checked out of the Plantation Resort. It was lovely. I always feel really sad to be leaving places, but this was always like a little bit of a stopover for us, just to basically swim with the manatees. And I know I said it yesterday, but honestly, we've been talking about it ever since, haven't we? It was up there, it was unreal. It was, but actually, it keeps making me get emotional when I talk about it, and I don't even know why, but it was like up there with one of the best experiences we've ever had in our lives like and being able to show the kids it and stuff it was just unbelievable like don't want what darling that cookie yeah so it was unbelievable but now we have got a what jay five hour road trip plus stops oh and everyone's slightly oh we had the best day yesterday everyone was like just angels all day today we've woken up and we're a little bit testy we're okay we're okay we can claw it back everyone's just a little bit fraught but we've checked out and we're gonna get on our car journey it's gonna be fine we actually really like i get loads of questions about doing road trips with kids and like oh like all the long journeys in the car we love the car and we find it really easy and it's a little bit stressful in parts when they're arguing or whatever but everyone gets a bit of downtime you get to explore you get to stop off in different places along the way and we just love it so five hours wish us luck i'm sure i'll video snippets of the journey and we're going to be ending up in Panama City Beach and we cannot wait. I thought I'd check in and say hi. We're about how many hours in? We're half, two and a half in, two and a half to go. Oh, it's funny. We've had a good time, haven't we? <laughs> it's getting a bit boring now. It? It's getting a bit boring now. We've driven through some really funny towns, haven't we? We drove through, I think we've got Chiefland, and we were just laughing at all the random like roadside things. It's just been funny. It has been funny. John's trying to act a bit cool, like, ah, I don't care. But it was funny. 
I've had some banter about toilet habits. And now we are getting a little bit bored. We haven't passed any towns for a while to uh, enjoy. But we're on a long straight road. And uh, we might stop for some lunch, although Ren typically fell asleep just as we were contemplating stopping for lunch. So we'll carry on through and see how we go. <laughs> Something quite exciting has happened, hasn't it? What? We have crossed a time zone. We were we were expecting like a fanfare, something quite exciting. We literally just went over a bridge and crossed it. Yeah, but then I guess phones automatically change now. But we just crossed. We've now gone back in time an hour to right the wrongs that we did in the previous this hour. Automatically as well. I know it's crazy. It's amazing. So it was three o'clock. It's now two o'clock. And now we can change and make our life better what we didn't do in the previous hour we can do again just drive some more we did stop at mcdonald's though in our regained hour and now we've only got about an hour or so till we get there so we've just arrived at our destination panama city beach it's taken us five hours but actually, it's been really fine, to be honest with you. I think the kids are so tired, they just needed a little bit of downtime. Ren slept for half of it, and the rest of the time they were so good. We hardly heard a peep out of the girls the whole journey, so it was actually, wasn't it, John? It was actually a really good journey, but I'm very sweaty from five hours in the car. I really need a wash. But we have arrived at Panama City Beach, and we're staying here for three nights, which we're very excited about. It's our longest destination that we're staying. But look! Bunk beds! It's my, it's my um, bedroom, and then me, Lottie. Hello. Lottie Hello. And City Beach. I look a little bit wet and bedraggled. That's because I am. It is awful weather here this morning. Not even, I can't even like dumb it down. It's awful weather. We've been quite lucky with the weather so far this trip really. Like we had one awful day in Miami on our first day and then we've had one other afternoon of rain but we were in the car most of it so it wasn't too bad. And other than that it's been glorious sunshine but today is rough <laughs> really bad so i went down to get john a coffee i don't even know why i did that i don't, I don't know, know what came over me john's in his boxes so i won't show him too much mm. don't want to give you all an enjoyable thrill this morning mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, oh gosh that was lightning so yeah it's really bad so we've sort of changed our plans a little bit for today we were gonna kind of get up have some breakfast and go straight out and explore the beach because Panama City Beach has been voted one of the top 10 beaches in the whole of the US and you can tell why from looking out not right now but you can tell why because it's really beautiful white sand but I think we're just gonna have a little bit you hear that thunder? I think we're just going to have a little bit of downtime. To be honest, it's quite well needed. John's doing some work. Like, I'm going to put all the camera footage onto the computer so I don't end up, like, losing the camera and losing the footage or anything like that. And Which we have done before, which is why. <laughs> um... And then the kids are playing, there's like a little bunk bed which I showed you, so they're all playing in there and having a good time. And even on the days where we have been, like, we haven't had any plans, because we've only been in a destination a certain amount of time, we felt like we need to get up and get out, haven't we? And ex Whoa, that was lightning. And explore the day, so explore the day, take, you know, take advantage of the day and go out and stuff. So in a weird sort of way, even though it's horrible weather, it's actually quite nice to just kind of 
<laughs> quite nice to just sort of chill out and relax in the apartment. We're not gonna spend all day here. We will go out and explore and I'm gonna look up rainy day things to do in Panama City Beach. But yeah, we're just gonna kind of just chill out and have a bit of downtime this morning. So it's actually quite nice really, isn't it? Just to relax a little bit. It's quarter to nine, I'm gonna have a Diet Coke because I'm on vacation. Never quite grasped this world that was my surrounding My heart screamed out for more It's the storm inside That's breaking my heart So we decided to come for a drive mainly because we wanted Ren to have a sleep because he's a bit grumpy He hasn't slept He fell asleep just as we were about to get an ice cream and we had to wake him up and then we thought right We'll drive, let him have a little sleep Nah but we've come to a place called Seaside, which is about 20 25, minutes, 25. 25 minutes from Panama City Beach. I'd seen it somewhere, I don't even know where. I just spent so long researching holidays, I forget where I see things. But it looked really beautiful, so we thought we'd come on and have a look. It's a bit windy, so I don't know really what we're uh, gonna do while we're here, but it looks so cute. So we're gonna get out and have a little wander around. the corn grow in the fields I don't know what's on your mind but I know that it's something about you and me I'll stay here for as long as I can through the storms and through the calm when you smile at me I slow that you are the one hotel or apartments and freshened up a little bit and we're going to a place called Runaway Island for dinner just because we saw it from the road and we thought it looked quite nice and I really want to go out on the beach and take some sunset photos because they're my favorite type of photos to take however it's looking very very windy so I'm not sure whether that's gonna happen but I'm really hungry because we haven't had a proper meal all day we had like a snacky breakfast because the weather was so bad and then we just had ice cream because we knew we were coming out for dinner This is the kind of weather we like. Blue sky. We're off out exploring. I've got a really shiny forehead. I look like an egg. What can you do? The morning, framed by golden morning. Dun dun dun. Wow, look at these. My goodness. Oh, Granny left it. The, the ending bit. Oh. Oh.
Here's our finished sandcastle. We did a good job, didn't we? We've come down on the beach to enjoy the sunset and take some pictures. The sun's practically gone in now, but it's so beautiful, isn't it? It's brought a little. Now we're late for dinner. It's brought a little tear to my eye, though. It's just so lovely.